So, will Steady return back to Apex Legends? Because they just dropped some pretty good information. So, we might be returning to Apex Legends. We're going to watch a little bit of what the devs have to say. Hi, I'm Steve Ferreira. What's up, Game Steve? director of Apex Legends. We're always looking for ways that we can add new energy and more action into every season of Apex. Put I'll kick it there, over coach. to Evan and Eric to tell you some of the ways we're mixing it up in Shockwave. I'm excited to talk about how we're bringing brand new energy to Apex with our latest season, Shockwave. First, we've added a revival. To get you back into the action faster, we're enabling players to respawn back into the fight in a... We gotta stop right there. All right, listen. Revival. Rebirth, revival. Rebirth, revival. Brand new way. As long as you have one living squad mate, you can respawn near them after you die. Dive back down. I gotta, I gotta, I, I, I need some wireless headphones so that way I can stand up. Same thing as rebirth. We coming back, baby. Apex Legends. Might be ready. Might be time. Down onto your team and get back into that fight. We're also adding several quality of life updates. What you add? What are they add? Resetting loot bins at the mid game and Woo! Resetting the loot bins. Bruh, that's gonna be huge. All right. Resetting the loot bins mid game. So think about this you start off first of the game, you're running with me, Crypto or Wraith. All right, I'm the, that's my main, all right? And then something happens. I dip out. Don't worry, I got you. Revival hits. Bam! You're coming back. It's already mid-game. We running through the lobbies like ain't nobody's business because we out here, all right? You need some loot as soon as you drop down. Don't worry. Mid-game, everything resets. You're going to have new loot bins ready at your disposal. Let's see what else they got. Improved battle sense mechanics. Enemy I'm sorry, but we're going to pick this thing to death. Did I just see a health bar? Is that a health bar? Right there. Right there. That's a health bar. Right there. Right there. That's a health bar. You know how wild that is? That's going to be standard. No more guesswork. This is going to be huge. Because now you can, you can make plays off of this. This is going to be nice. Enemy help bars will help take some of the guesswork of knowing how much damage you've actually done to your opponent. And if they really are, one shot. All right, listen. I think he's calling everyone out there. He needs to tone it down. Because he took it just way too far right there. All he had to do was say, you'll just know if your enemy is really hurt. He didn't have to say one shot. I mean, that's like a trigger word for everyone here, all right? Highlights on enemy players will help you track targets at closer ranges. You can see the highlight right there. It's very minimal with the red, but it's going to keep a lot of people probably from hiding, I would imagine. Because now they're going to be outlined with red. You know, so this might actually be a good change for hiding players. We'll just have to see how it plays, though. Because, you know, all these things can sound good, but how does it play? That's going to be the big thing. How does it play? No highlights at long range, though. It is a skill to identify targets at range. To keep the energy up and to keep you in the action, loot bins will reset at the mid game. Midway through the game, all open loot bins will re-roll their loot, giving you fresh bins to restock your supplies with. Why is this one a different color? That is a big question. Why is this one a different color? Keep an eye out for rare loot bins that will randomly replace existing bins. These rare bins contain wild. powerful loot to help you finish your end game loadouts. These changes will help you keep focus on getting to the f So I did notice something there, and I don't really know how to go back with the keyboard uh, combines or whatever, however you do that, however you say that. All I know is spacebar equals 
play or pause. All right. Maybe arrow back. Yeah. Oh, oh, look how smart I am. All right. So if you'll notice. So this was a red bin and it contained a red item. This was a gold bin or a yellow bin. Uh-oh. loop to help you finish your end. And you see it had something gold down there. So it's going to be e easily distinguishable on what tier of loot is in that bin, which might be pretty good. I don't really know how that's going to play out, though, but it might be good. In-game loadouts. These changes will help you keep focus on getting to the fun and racking up those kills. This season, you're going to want to pick up the P2020 and the Mozambique. What? And what's better than one weapon? Two. And then well, yeah. I got one on the holster and one pointing at you. What else? That's why we're adding akimbo. That means on what? Akimbo. Tell me. Tell me more. On drop. If you grab two P2020s or two Mozambique shotguns, you'll automatically go full akimbo, where you'll dual wield both weapons to deal devastating and fast damage. Both these weapons are fully automatic in akimbo when you lay on the. Fully automatic. Ah, oh, bro. Fully automatic. Oh man. Oh, my goodness. The trigger, but they'll lose their ability to use precision aim down sights. Instead, when aiming, they'll tighten their hip fire spread. Pop ups and attachments will apply to both of your akimbo weapons, so no, you don't need two mags. Adding akimbo quite literally puts the power in your hands, and we can't wait to see all the community highlights. So, all the attachments stack on these guns, by the way. So, that is fire. Light clips. Akimbo isn't the only change we're making to weapons. We saw an opportunity to make LMGs more competitive next to submachine guns and assault rifles. Instead of trying to push their damage output higher, we're instead trying a different vector of power defense. We've done defense. We've done this by adding a shield to LMGs with the all new shield generator hop up. The gun shield allows players to challenge higher DPS weapons while still being able to tap into the power fantasy of the bullet hose. All right, give me that Gibby shield, no matter who I am. I love it. I love it. That actually might play pretty good. Just think about it. So now, because you're not dealing as much damage as fast, you have a shield to compensate for that. That's a good, that's a good play, Apex. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. We've also made some adjustments to LMGs in close quarters combat. We've added the reverse hip fire mechanic, which refines that bullet hose fantasy from a common garden hose to a fire hose with deadly accuracy. All right, LMGs are overpowered. Hands down. Hands down. Overpowered. Right now. LMG me, please. Rampart, LMG. Wild, all right? So if you're playing with me, I need you on Rampart. I need you to have two LMGs. Just, li just line them up, all right? Don't stop shooting. We love that Apex Legends is one of the most fun competitive shooters out there. We also know that it can be a little intimidating for players to jump in. Josh and Eric will give you the download on everything we've got to make it easier than ever to jump into a game of Apex. With Shockwave, we've got some brand new modes and some returning favorites. First up, in Shockwave, we're bringing back Straight Shot, but with a twist. Straight Shot Revival is our streamlined Battle Royale mode that gets you straight into the action with smaller maps and pre-kitted weapons. This season, we're also adding the Revival system to Straight Shot, so you can keep respawning as long as you have one living squad mate. With Straight Shot Revival, we'll get into the action faster and stay in the game longer. Next, for the players that just want to get some reps in, we're excited to announce that we're launching a new dedicated bot royale. 
Bot Royale lets you get the hang of Apex Legends by playing a match of Battle Royale against all bot opponents. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. This is very good. Like, this is going to be very, very good for a lot of people. And I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably not going to use the bot royale, like at all. But for a lot of people, this will be appealing to them because now they can jump in, they can play with leisure, People after work that don't really want to just play against people. They just want to, you know, get a couple reps in, get a little bit better, want to train up. This, this will be good, for real. Like, honestly, no sarcasm. I, I know I play sarcasm a lot, but I, really, I think that this was a very good feature for them to put in there. You can start a match alone with a team of bots or bring friends along to practice together. We're excited to see all oh, the ways cool. you'll use these new bot matches. And maybe you're new to Apex and you need a safe space to practice. If you want to learn a new legend, you'll be able to experiment at your own pace. Or maybe That's you want cool. to teach some friends how to play Apex. Bot matches give you a more realistic environment than the firing range. Hello again. In Shockwave, we're looking to encourage a new legend meta while also empowering more supportive and defensive playstyles. We'll do that by revisiting class perks to give you something new. For our recon legends like Bloodhound, we're adding an all new perk called Scoutmaster, which gives all recon legends threat vision on enemies when aiming down sights. Bangalore mains can breathe a sigh of relief, Scoutmaster does not work through smoke. We're also looking to push survey beacons into a more tactical role. Beacons will be faster to use and found more frequently across the map, no more random spawns. However, they will no longer reveal the entire map, instead, a large area around the beacon itself. And for our caustic mains out, that was very good. That's very good. That's very competitive. Sorry. That's very competitive for Apex to be able to do something like that. That's, that's very good. I'm kind of curious on, on the recon mains, you know? I'm kind of curious on that. But I'm a crypto, so we'll see, we'll see exactly how that works out. Out there, controllers inside zone will maintain a permanent overcharge on their shields, effectively making them one level stronger than their actual level. These are just some of the meta changes we've got in store for you in our new season. One of my favorite things about Apex Legends are the diverse worlds and biomes that are the backdrop for our special brand of BR action. In Shockwave, I'm excited to reveal that our sixth map is coming to Apex Legends. E District is a futuristic cityscape. I just want you guys to look at this map. This is very, very beautiful to me. I saw images of this on X, and this map right here looks fire. I love the way that this map looks. Like, this looks very, very good. Like, very good. I like this that is a result of five years of learnings from the team, meaning you'll get exciting new ways to flex your skills in combat. All this set against a bold neon background. I'm excited to give you an overview of our newest map called E-District coming in Shockwave. E-District pushes the boundaries of Apex maps, lots of verticality, and a large variety of buildings in a cyberpunk playground. With a strong emphasis on urban warfare, this is our most densely packed map to date. In market, you'll experience close quarters combat in a gritty and futuristic night market. That's in locations cool. like Blossom Drive, you'll have exciting rooftop-to-rooftop -rooftop battles. You'll hop from one skyscraper to another, above canals that feature floating holograms. We're also excited to introduce new map toys in E-District, with launchers that can quickly send you long distances, vertically and horizontally. These launchers will give you exciting opportunities to strategize with your team, travel quickly, or easily reach rooftops. You can check out everything we've shown here and more when Shockwave goes live on August 6th. Tomorrow. As always, keep your feedback coming. We can't wait to hear your thoughts on Revival, Battle Sense, Akimbo, E District, and everything else that's coming in the new season. On behalf of myself and the Apex team, I wanted to thank our amazing community. We couldn't do this without you. We'll see you on the dropship for Shockwave on August 6th. All right. Listen. I want to announce right now, while everyone is here, okay? 
We're going to be live all week for this right here. All right? For Shockwave. We're going to be playing with some friends. We're going to be having a good time. We're going to be learning all of the new things that are coming out. Playing with them. We're going to give some feedback here on the channel. I would love for you guys to come over, watch, support. You know, give me your thoughts on it. I think that Steady might be coming back. I think he might be coming back. 